Hey fellas on YouTube, uh, another quick video here. More a question for the welding people out there uh, that do a lot of TIG welding. Uh, I work out of my home garage now, um, being furloughed, so metal working in the winter is basically my source of income. I've got uh, a couple projects on the go, making a few of these uh, ramp tailgates. These are bifolding uh, ramp tailgates that hook onto the back of a Dodge Ram pickup truck. I've got a, a custom over center hinge system. Everything rides on. Uh, bronze bushings and uh, and uh, it's got a, a dual latching system uh, ba basically uh, uh, these are custom one-offs for a snow clearing company they want to move their equipment in and out of the back of the trucks and they don't want to lug around extra ramps so I came up with the design and made the uh, the bearing pockets on the lathe the standard um, standard tailgate bushings fit into there and it just it's all fabbed up out of steel it's quite a bit of fab work involved but uh, hey it's paying the bills Anyways, um, picked up a new regulator. I'm moving out of uh, one TIG machine or two TIG machines into a single unit. Uh, it's about time to do that. Uh, one of my TIG machines is at the end of its amortization schedule. So uh, it serves me of financial benefit to move along equipment that's about uh, five, six years old and move into new equipment to keep my, uh, my tax uh, mitigation in check. Anyways, so I got a, a new welder on the way and it did not come with anything. So I've got my own foot pedal I'm keeping and I've got my uh, uh, ground lead, my 25 foot ground lead with my big heavy duty 300 amp Lenco clamp. Um, and I needed a new regulator or flow meter if you want to call it that. And I had some questions. So this is my question. This is what I'm moving away from which came on my square wave and my new welder doesn't have a flow meter uh, coming with it. So I decided to get this. now. There's a lot of these on the market that look exactly the same. So I wanted to go to a flow meter style system, but there's a big difference between this guy and the Victor versus the $100 cheapos. Now I'm in Canada, so hundred bucks in Canada is probably like $12 in the United States. So the big difference that I found is that the Victor style and this ProStar one, which average anywhere from about 130 to $180, flow and output at 25 PSI, and this one's 27 PSI, versus the Pro Weld ones, and the other ones flow at a PSI of about 50 PSI. So I got the lower pressure one on the output side of it. So my question is, for anybody that TIG welds, is what's the big difference between welding with a regulator at 50 PSI output versus 25 or 27 PSI output, as this one is labeled at? Anyways, that's my question. Hopefully somebody can answer that. And um, in the meantime, I'm going to be uh, welding with my Mini Arc 161 uh, with a two part cable uh, gas lens, um, a 17 TIG torch. I'm going to throw my new regulator on. And uh, I've got these uh, Western Enterprises quick connect couplings here. I'll throw those on my new uh, um, Argon cable. And I'm also going to get a Y fitting so I can have a, a stainless steel purge. Uh, system here and I'll run that off uh, this flow meter too. Anyway, so if you know much about TIG welding, you know much about these regulators, please uh, put something in the comments below. What's the difference in welding uh, with a 25 PSI output flow meter versus a 50 PSI output flow meter? All right, thanks for watching.